Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Miss Fit Vegan. This is a quick video. I want you guys to know before you waste your money with this tropical fruit, okay? Mangosteen, one of my favorite fruits of all time. All of these are rotten. I need you to know how to pick out your fruit. Because one, if you don't know how to tell when your fruit is ripe, you're gonna waste your money. And two, you're not gonna eat fruit, right? And then three, you're not gonna be cute. So here we go. All of these are rotten. How do I know that? Because of the stem. Uh, what are these called? The little petals on top. So all of these petals are super, super tan and none of them are green, okay? You really wanna find ones with at least slightly green tops and I have looked and none of them are good. None of them. And I love mangosteen and I always wanna buy it every time I see it, but unfortunately, all of these are rotten. And you know, mangosteen is one of the hardest fruits on earth to grow. It actually takes, I've heard it takes up to 20 years to have the tree fruiting. And it takes 20 years of perfect watering and perfect care. So just a heads up, that's why mangosteen, it's uh, very expensive. And also it doesn't ship well at all. These are all radiated, I'm sure. And I don't mind if fruit is radiated, but I do mind if I'm gonna buy it and it's gonna be bad. And all of these are gonna be bad. So thank you so much. And by the way, I just wanted to say, just because I'm in the same store, um, apparently vegan deterioration is obsessed with me and I appreciate it and I thank you so much. I hope you're subscribed, not just stalking me. But I wanted to say that uh, there were some, because people sent me this video and I finally watched it. And there were some comments in that video. Remember I was here with the cart of meat and some people said that I put that cart together <laughs> just for the video. Like, how much time do you think I have? Of course, I would never touch, I would never touch dead animal body parts, even if they're wrapped in plastic. Also, I wasn't complaining about the plastic in that video. I was saying it's so disgusting that you need to wrap it in plastic to touch it. Meanwhile, I can touch this pear. I'm not disgusted. I don't, I don't have any gross feelings. But all humans in this store would never touch a piece of dead animal body part without being grossed out. Okay, yes, you have to do it because you do it when you get home, but I'm pretty sure you're grossed out about it and you probably go like this, right? You don't touch it and put it in your cart and call it a day, right? We know for a fact that we are not supposed to be eating dead animal body parts because we are disgusted by dead animal body parts. And then somebody else said, um, I don't know, there were so many, so many amazing comments. I can't remember them all now. Damn it. But that was one of them, which is like, I bet you she um, put this cart together just for the video. Guys, I don't have that kind of time. I'm very busy inspiring people to eat fruit, be cute. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. If you have any requests for specific fruit and vegetables you'd like me to um, review and give you some tips and tricks on, then please leave it in the comments below. Is there any fruit, oops, sorry. Is there any fruit that you really, really want to know how to pick it out? Let me know, boo. Let me know. Should we get some jackfruit? Oh my gosh. You gotta smell it. Go ahead, good luck smelling your dead animal body parts. All right? This store is so absolutely gross and disgusting. I am gonna show you guys some really nasty stuff for a second, okay? First of all, they have actual live frogs for people to eat. Like, can you imagine? Ugh. Oh God. Oh boy. They have live, yeah, I can't actually be, I can't, I can't deal with this. And I'm sure uh, someone on Vegan Deterioration's page is like, mmm, but like, that's a, that's a mental illness. I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to say that eating dead animal body parts is a mental illness. Some people think that raw veganism is extreme, but I don't think that taking a piece of fruit and eating it is extreme. I think having a box of frogs and picking out one of those to eat is extreme, okay? And I don't care what anybody says, uh, till the day I die, I will never, ever support animal cruelty again. There's absolutely no excuse for that. It is disgusting and yeah, guys, we have so much abundance. Do you understand it? It's persimmon season and we got chocolate persimmons. And I wish so bad that you guys were here so we could share some. But hey, maybe I'll see you at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Maybe I'll see you somewhere someday. I'll be in New York soon, if anybody's in New York. 
Should I have a fruit meetup? I don't know. Should I have a fruit luck? Let me know, guys. I'm going to pick out some persimmons. Uh, this has been a smorgasbord video. I really, um, I really I should not have gone back there because it really affects me. That is absolutely disgusting. Can you imagine one of the people you care about being in that box back there? Can you imagine? Because some of you guys believe in reincarnation. Some of you guys think there's no such thing as God or whatever. But like, just for a second, imagine somebody you love being in a box back there and possibly being somebody's dinner. It's not okay. It's not fucking okay. No, we were not designed to eat animals. Yeah, maybe cavemen. Maybe cavemen in the past ate animals because they had to. But does it look like we have to eat animals? No, no, it does not. We have an entire store of abundance here. Why would we need to enslave, torture, and murder animals to eat them? Why would we need to do that? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Oh, I was gonna, sorry. I was gonna tell you guys how to pick out the persimmons. So a lot of these seem to be damaged. It's not ideal, but what you really, really wanna do, you wanna find the ones, honestly, that are translucent. This, clearly somebody was not taking care of these persimmons. They should really come in like, you know, uh, like foam or something, even though I'm not, oh, that. They should, persimmons should be stored in that stuff, even though it's really terrible for the environment. But they're a very sensitive fruit. You know, they're one of the original fruits. So, personally, I, I'm going to buy them not ripe today. So, I'm going to buy a bunch of them that are hard. But you know that they're ripe if their skin is turning translucent. And they are super, super soft. And they actually feel like a boob. I know. I heard that tip a long time ago. And it really makes sense. Persimmons should feel like boobs. All right. So, this one is ripening, as you can see. All right. And these are, of course, the Hychea. And these are the fool you, okay? Um, and I'm not gonna fool you, but I am going to let you know that these are way better. In my opinion, these are really, really good. These are okay, but you see the color is off, so I'm not gonna pick these because these were picked from the tree way too early. How do you know? Because persimmons should never be this color. It should never be yellow. Persimmons should be orange, all right? And so these are picked way too early. They might never ripen. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.